Well, this is a discussion in just about every American home right now, gun control. And especially after recent mass shooting, it's a topic hard to ignore. At one time, the voices of gun owners, owners rather, were largely those of men. But take a look at this. 23% of women are now packing heat. That's up about 77% since 2005. And here in Atlanta, there are two women who saw those numbers and said, let's give them a place to train. My name is Lucy. I have two children. I have a daughter and a son. Let's shoot up. My husband travels. What happens if I'm alone at home or any place with my two children? Should I just tell everybody, wait, wait, my husband's not here. Wait for him to get home. It's a hobby. It's a sport for me. Some people play golf. Other people play tennis. I do a little target practice. When you learn with your parents, you don't have that curiosity from learning with a friend. You're not, oh, let's, let's go see what this is. Let's see how this works, because you know how it works. It's a lot of fun because it's your whole family, and you enjoy it, and you have a fun time with it. Ooh, somebody got in the center. Somebody got the center. They know how to read. They know how to write. They know how to swim. Why not show them how to de defend themselves? Well, the owners of that gun range, wives and mothers themselves, Kara Workman and Robin Marzullo. And I think it's interesting, ladies, when I talk to you, I mean, you saw a need here. You saw women wanting to learn how to shoot. They were buying the guns. You offered them a place. You have three ranges now. Um, tell me about Lucy and her kids. I mean, this family night is pretty popular, right? I mean, people are calling you, asking you, what do you have for me? Uh, well, yeah, it is. I think that women are are starting to come in more and more every single day as well as families. And I think it's an activity that parents can do together and teach their children about guns and gun safety, kind of diminish the taboo about guns and be the people on the front line to teach their children how to operate a, a handgun or a firearm for that matter. And then furthermore, do something together as a family. Well, and you heard from Lucy's son and daughter there, um, Max and Samantha. I mean, they clearly said, we know about it, we understand it, so we know what's right and wrong. That's interesting. Is that what a lot of the kids are, are, are saying when they come in? I, I think that um, as parents, it's our job to educate our children. And a lot of times, as soon as you tell a child that something's taboo, um, it leads to more curiosity. So I find that more and more parents are trying to educate, educate their children on firearms and how to shoot properly in a safe environment. So I'm curious, um, and, and Robin, maybe you can answer this. What do you say to the parents that may be watching this saying, holy cow, this is too dangerous. There shouldn't be any guns in the home, and you shouldn't be taking your, your kids to the range. What would you say to them? I think that that's a normal reaction as parents. Our job is to protect our children in every way, shape, and form. I mean, that's our number one responsibility. But if you think about it, this is a great way to protect your children. The family dynamics are changing. It's not always dad that's home. Anymore, you know, at night, parents travel, there's single families or single parents for that matter. And the same way that you think it's dangerous to have your children at home um, or around guns, I should say, um, it's even another reason why you should educate your children so that if they're not in the care of you specifically or they're in a friend's house or somewhere at school and they see a firearm that they know to walk away, that it mm -hmm. is not a toy, and if you're not in a controlled environment, that you need to go get an adult so that you, you know, stay safe. Kara, that's what you were saying, is that you've, you've got to be the one to talk to your child first, whether you've got a gun in the home or not, right? Absolutely. Um, you know, just before break or during the break, you and I were talking about um, how do I handle my children going to other, or how do parents handle their children going to other other people's houses who might have a gun do we call ahead of time and ask do, they, do you have guns in the home where do you keep them How? it's okay to do that right absolutely I mean, I mean i would if i know or i'm curious if my kids are going to spend the night i'm going to say hey i, I just i'm worried about my kids safety i'm going to ask you if you've got a pool i'm going to ask you if you've got guns i'm going to what, Ryan? Yeah, but a lot of parents don't want to go there. And you know what? My big thing is parents think that kids can't see certain things. When I was a kid, maybe about 10 or 11, I went over a friend's house. He takes me up into his dad's room. He says, you want to see something? He reaches up into the closet, and he pulls out a gun. 
And if my parents are watching, they don't even know this story because I never told anybody because this is like, wow, what's that? He's picking it up. He's moving it around. I don't know if the safety was on or not. And my thing is, how do you get parents to understand that even though you say, hey, young person or child, don't don't use this. This is off limits. That's cool to kids. I know I was blown away when I saw it. But that's I thought this is the parent, coolest thing I've ever seen. But I think that's where a parent has to come in and educate their child. I mean, there are certain things that are age appropriate and there are certain things that are not. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that at a, for a three-year-old that you're going to say, hey, let's sit down and talk about a gun and how right. it works and what you need to do. In that situation, clearly, as a parent, you need to keep your child away from a firearm. You need to have your firearms put into safe, in a safe and away from your children. However, the same way you teach a child to call 911 in case there was an emergency, you teach them how to read, you teach them how to write, right? This is another thing that you have to teach them so that they know should they be in a situation when there is a firearm around, what do you do? You don't touch it. It's not cool. Those can obviously hurt people very, very bad. Mm -hmm. They can be very, very dangerous. And you need to go get an adult so that you get yourself out of that situation. Mm. But, so, I got to say, one thing we all agree on, though, is, is gun safety. That if you do own a gun or you're planning uh, to actually get one, you do want to learn how to use it. You want to go to a range uh, like Kara or Robbins. I mean, they have three now here in Atlanta. So you've got to be able to educate your kids, talk about these things openly. And if you're going to own a gun, know how to do it properly. The